Hey everyone, it's Ted again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post my video this week. It is a little shorter than the other ones, or at least it may turn out that way. Um, but I need this basic one to branch out into the other one for next week, okay? So, this week's topic is food. Part 2 of Humans 101. Now, as uh, humans, we need to have food. It's part of our basic needs. Um, the main thing that has happened with that is that our nation has actually become obsessed with food. We have stations and everything on television dedicated to just food. And that has caused us to become a nation of mostly fat people. And uh, when that happened, we developed the need to have someone to tell us what we can and can't eat so that we can become healthier. And what those people have drawn up is this thing called the food pyramid, which we have right here. Um, it's set up in a very basic way. Uh, we have the breads here, which is going to be your foundation, as well as vegetables and fruit, dairy and meat, and fats and sweets, things like that. Now, that's just a recommendation, really. Uh, my diet is simpler, and I believe far superior. Uh, it consists of this pyramid here, the basics of which are going to be hot pockets. That's going to be where you're going to get most of your nutrition. Uh, pizza rolls, which is going to give you the extra little bit that you're missing from the hot pockets. And then the Mountain Dew, which is going to be the top on all of it, and is essentially what everyone needs. Now, we have some people in this nation who eat things that are a lot different than others, and some who don't eat things at all. Uh, specifically, I know of one person whom I'm not allowed to talk about, look at, or be near, um, but I'm going to go ahead and mention this person anyway. Uh, she seems to have a diet that's kind of square like this, um, which basically consists of my sanity, my uh, happiness, as well as the, the center being uh, my soul. Now, other people refuse to eat things that are animals. Those people will, are called vegetarians. Now, I think the vegetarians have it a little wrong because meat is a lot, lot of nutrition and actually tastes really, really good. Uh, but it is animals, and we have animals for many reasons. So, this leads me into the topic for next week, and one question that you, uh, the extraterrestrials, are more than likely going to be asking yourselves and us when you come down here, and that question is, what animals can I eat? And uh, we will cover that next time. All right, thanks guys for tuning in as always, and I will catch you next time. Bye!